Hi booktube, Sarah here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with my used book haul. So I have a bunch of books here to show you guys. I can't even lift the bottom one. It's so heavy. Um, but I have a lot of books to show you guys. I bought, you know, just a few in the last little while. So let's me, let's me show them to you. Um, the first little batch here that I have, we stopped today over at the uh, Value Village, uh, the use, the little thrift store, not little thrift store, but one of the thrift stores close to my house. And I went in to get some tops for the gym. Um, I wanted some cheap, just t-shirts to wear to the gym, but I can never not look at the books. And this one, unfortunately, does not have the best section or selection of Harlequin books, but I did find a few. So, of course, let me show them off to you guys. I don't know a lot about all these books. I probably have something like 20 books here to show you guys. So I will leave a link, a list in the description box below of every book that I talk about, just in case you want to go and uh, and look more into any of them uh, for yourself. So the first one is a Harlequin Intrigue, and this is Cla uh, Clallenstein. Clallenstein? I cannot read that word. Christmas, and this is by L. James. This is a book in the Covert Cowboys, Inc. series. It is Harlequin Intrigue number 1601, and it is from November of 2015. So there's that one. I, cr I can never, I, I'm always drawn to Christmas books, and I don't know why. The second book is The Husband Show by Christine Rolison. This is part of the Willing to Wed series, and it's a Harlequin heartwarming from April of 2014, of course. Something to do with country music, it must. He's got a guitar, so yeah, this one looks great. And I believe, yes, it is. This is a large print. I do love me a large print book. <laughs> Next up, we have a Harlequin historical novel. And this is Awakened by the Prince's Passion by Brownwyn Scott. This is a Russian Royals of Kuban series book. This is one that's a little bit more recent. Yeah, it's from August of 2018. So yeah, this one looks really good. Do love me a good historical novel. Um, next up, again, I'm, I'm drawn to the Christmas books. This is Snowbound with the Heiress by Jennifer Fay, a Harlequin romance novel. This is from November of 2017. Love that cozy cover. Nice sweaters on there. <laughs> Some beautiful hand-knit sweaters. Um, and last but not least, um, for the ones I just picked up the other day, this is a love-inspired suspense, and it's Rescued at Cedar Lake by Maggie K. Black. This is part of the True North Bodyguard series, so I believe this is a Canadian series. I believe this follows, um, oh, where is it here? I believe that they're the Canadian Mounted Police are um, the police officers in this, in this series. So yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to this one. Um, again, it's another large print book, so that's always exciting. Um, and yeah, I just want to see if it says anything about that. Uh, private security. Yeah, so anyway, this one looks really good. So let's get into the unpackagings. <laughs> so the first one, I ordered all from the same company at the same time, but for some reason they sent one book on its own. I don't understand. I think I ordered 16 books in total online, um, which is my typical every month. Um, I like to order about 16 used books. I, I just like getting books in the mail. Yes, I could just as easily go to the thrift store and buy these, and it would probably end up being a bit cheaper because of... Um, you know, shipping charges and stuff like that, but there's just something about getting books in the mail, isn't there, you guys? So the first one is, ooh, this is in almost mint condition. This is A Deal Made in Texas by Michelle Major, uh, a Harlequin special edition novel from January of 2019. So it is, it's from last month. Isn't that a gorgeous cover? So yes, The Fortunes of Texas, The Lost Fortunes series is what this is a part of. So that looks really great. I am very quickly going to run out of room here on my little table. Um, so we're going to put these books over here, just so we don't knock anything over. So next up, the big package. This puppy open. <laughs> it's like Christmas. Wow. I had to pick this one up at the post office too. It said that the sender required that I pick it up. I think it was more the postman didn't want to carry it. <laughs> so we're just going to reach in here at random and grab some books. Ooh, first up, from Tara, Tara Taylor Quinn. This is A Defender's Heart, and this is from her series Where Secrets Are Safe. Um, gorgeous edition. Uh, this is from June of 2018. This is probably one of the last ones published. 
from the Harlequin Super Romance line because it I think they got rid of it last summer. Again, another large print book. Gotta love that. So yeah, this one looks really, really great. And I'm super impressed so far. Both stickers are on the back. I like it when they do that. Next up, we have ooh, a Presents novel. This is uh, The Secret Kept from the Greek. And I spoke too soon because they put a sticker on the front. And this is The Secret Heirs of Billionaires by Suzanne Stevens. This is from July of 2017. So absolutely gorgeous cover on that one too if it wasn't for that sticker but we won't we won't complain too much next up woo uh roping her christmas cowboy again i have a thing with christmas books and this is by rebecca winters this is a harlequin western romance what used to be the harlequin american romance line this is from december of 2017 so that one looks good too um it's the sapphire mountain cowboy series i have another one in this series i think up on my shelf so nice to have another one. And these silly stickers, I guess in the U.S., um, maybe wherever they're sold, Target or Walmart, they put these ones on there. So, yeah. Meh. It is what it is. Next up. What else is in this bag? Oh, good. Um, an old uh, Harlequin, uh, an older Harlequin romance, excuse me. This is To Catch a Groom by Rebecca Winters. This is part of the Husband Fund series. So, yeah, you can tell you know, how they change the designs on the front and stuff like that as they go. Um, and this is from November of 04. So yeah, this one is what, 15 years old? So yeah, that's exciting. Next up we have, whoop. ooh, talk about a spicy cover, you guys. This is Driving Her Wild by Meg McGuire, um, a Harlequin Blaze novel from November of 2013. Wow, look at that cover. Holy cow. This is going to be spicy. I mean, it's a Blaze novel. They always are, but wow. <laughs> Perhaps he's her personal trainer. <laughs> That's my thought process. <laughs> uh, next up, we have A Little Bit of Holiday Magic by Melissa McClone. Um, this is another Harlequin romance novel from November of 2013. Again, it's a larger print book love those larger print books and I do love like I know a lot of people but like the 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 little things in the middle that you know send away for your free book kind of an idea I just I love seeing that I don't know why <laughs> but yeah this one looks really really cute I do know about I look at these books before I buy them but because I am collecting these as much as anything else that's why it you know I don't necessarily know a lot about them we have another Harlequin super romance this is by Joan Kilby it is meant to be hers another larger print. I think these ones were published exclusively as large print books towards the end of the series. Um, same with the Harlequin Romance. I don't think you can get them in anything but a large print. So they tend to be a little bit thicker, of course, because of that. And this is from May of 2018. So again, more towards the end of this line or this run, which is, again, very unfortunate because I did love those books so much. Oops. Sorry, they're falling off my lap. Next, we have another Harlequin Romance. This is one that I had on my um, Harlequin Anticipated Reads. This would have been back for June of last year. And this is Road Trip with the Best Man by Sophie Pembroke. I just love that cover. I just think those two are just so adorable. Um, I love her hair, too. But this is one that was about a woman who ran away from her wedding and ended up taking off with the best man. And, of course, you know, relationship ensues from there. But, yeah, so this one looks really good. Again, a larger print because, like I said, I think that uh, the Harlequin romance line was published publishes now exclusively in large print format for their print books. Of course, ebooks are a totally different ballgame. You can make them as large or as small as you want on an ebook, which is part of the reason I love ebooks. Next up, ooh, another um, Harlequin presents. This is Italian Boss Proud Miss Prim by An uh, Suzanne Stevens. I think I already said that. Um, December or October of '09, and really, guys. You couldn't put the sticker down here. You had to put it directly over their faces. If you're going to stick a sticker on the front, at least put it in a less, you know, in your face, literally, place. That would be nice. Uh, next we have A Harlequin Desire. Best Man Under the Mistletoe by Jules Bennett. This is part of the Texas Cattlemen's Club Blackmail series from December of 2017. Another great, great cover. Really like that one. That one's going to be good. I'm running out of room over here too now, guys. 
Let's put them up here. Ooh, a Harlequin Historical. We have Smoke River Bride by Lenana Banning. Um, this is from August of 2013. It is a Western romance, an American West romance. I do love these. These are some of my favorite, to be completely honest. And then I have The Temptation of Dr. Colton uh, by Karen Witten. This is the Coltons of Oklahoma series. He could be a cowboy, uh, or he could be a country music star with that cowboy, <laughs> couldn't he? <laughs> he just kind of has that look about him. Yeah, this one looks good. For one Colton doctor, the, prog the prognosis is deadly, it says on the back. Ooh, very intriguing. So yeah, so there's that one. And then we have... Oh, a very old Temptation novel. Yay. A Montana Christmas by Christine... Christine Rolofson. Um, Harlequin Temptation from 2002, December of 2002. This was a great line. Um, this line went away quite some time ago and was replaced by the Blaze line. And now the Blaze line is gone too. And it's been replaced by the Dare line, which I'm not a fan of really. It's, if you like erotic romance, definitely check them out. But they're not generally my cup of tea. So, but yeah, but these, I did really enjoy these as well. Oh. Oh, it's two, it's two stories in one. Oh, that's exciting. And Temptation is celebrating with two stories in one volume. What Child Is This? And I'll Be Home for Christmas. Oh, that's fun. Oh, I really like that. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's exciting. Always love a good anthology. Next up. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't talk about an anthology. I didn't realize this was an anthology as well. But yay for not ruining that beautiful cover. Mail Order Brides of Oak Grove by Lori Robinson and Katherine Albright. Look at that. Yay. Twin Sisters Say I Do in the Wild West. Oh, how fun. I love Lori Robinson. Big fan. And Lynn and uh, Catherine Albright as well. Both of them are great, great authors. So this one will be really good. Can't wait to get to that one. This is from June of 2017. And most of these that I'm talking about are probably available on the Kindle if you're interested. And now uh, an older Harlequin Presents. This is The Reluctant Husband by Lynn Graham. That old cover, you guys. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it. She was still his wife. This is from 1998. So 21 years ago now? Yeah. Love it, love it so much. Oh, these are the ones that I remember my aunt reading were these covers, like these kind of covers. Um, you know, back when I was a kid, these are the ones that I remember her reading. So yeah, this is going to be a lot of fun, I think. So is that it? That is it, you guys. A quick little video, little unboxing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I will leave link, not links, but I will leave a list of all the books I just mentioned in the description box below. They probably won't be in the order that I pulled them out in, so you can kind of look through them. What I'll try and do is I will group them by imprint, by Harlequin imprint, so then you can check them out that way um, and see if there are any that you might be interested in checking out, seeing if they're available as an ebook. And that's it, all I have today, you guys. Uh, again, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Until then, take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.